Yo, what's up, guys? It's Max here, and I'm bringing you another GTA 5 video. And today, we're talking about the new Smart Police, the new police system, and also all the police vehicles. So, before I go over any of that, I'd really appreciate it if you guys would leave an early like on this video because I've been working really hard lately on on these GTA 5 videos. They're packed full with information. I have a bunch of videos on my channel. If you guys haven't seen any of them, I'd definitely recommend going over and subscribing to my channel because I have a bunch of GTA 5 info on there and I will have it in the upcoming months all the way through. And I've just been working really hard on the GTA 5 videos. They're crammed full with information. So I'd really appreciate it if you guys would support the GTA 5 videos. And yep, that's pretty much it. So we'll get right into the video. So for the GTA 5 police, AI of the police has improved drastically so it will be a bit harder to survive and escape and it'll definitely be a lot harder if you're new to the game just because they increased the difficulty just to make it more realistic and um just overall harder and more of a challenge. So before, uh, police knew where you were even when they couldn't even see you. So like, even if you were hiding in a dumpster around the corner and the nearest police was like a couple blocks away, as long as you were in the circle of search in the proximity, they knew you were there. I don't know how. It's like they could see you through walls with x-ray vision. It was not realistic at all. And hiding in like say in a dumpster would not help you get away from the cops because somehow they could see you through the walls and stuff like that. And also they spawned out of nowhere which wasn't realistic at all They just came out of nowhere And uh, they have actually changed drastically now uh, They've changed how they react uh, How they are, are alerted to illegal things And the strategies to capture you And also what they have in terms of vehicles And weapons in their arsenal And bringing like the SWAT, the FIB, stuff like that And also the weapons they use so the wanted system is back with stars 1 to 5 depending upon how bad your crimes uh, slash crime is. So obviously if you only like steal something from someone you might have like 1 or 2 stars. But if you bomb a whole mall you're definitely going to be up there in the stars at like 3, 4, or 5. And the more crimes you commit, the more stars and uh, the more things that will come at you, like more cops. Uh, the SWAT team will probably come after you, the FIB. And also it's been rumored that there's like the Army, there's been a uh, Marine helicopter and stuff like that. There could be tanks. Actually, yes, there is a tank as a police vehicle, but they're going to do a bunch of different stuff and bring a bunch of different stuff at you, so it's going to be really challenging, especially when they get up there with five stars. They're going to have a whole bunch of people coming after you with all these different weapons and vehicles and helicopters, stuff like that. And uh, also, obviously, if you have a lower wanted level, the police's search area will be smaller compared if you had a larger wanted level. And obviously now, like I was saying before, police have to see you in their line of sight in order to keep searching for you. So that will allow you to hide in certain areas, like around the corner in a house or like in a trash can. And you just don't, just don't have to outrun the cops like you had to do in previous GTAs. Like you just have to drive really fast away and hopefully no cops would spawn right in front of you. Uh, and you just have to drive out of the circle and the cops would disappear. Now all you have to do is you have to get out of the line of sight of the cops, which Obviously, it's going to be much harder once there's a bunch of cops coming after you and like uh, things like the helicopter can shine a light on you and it can show exactly where you're going and it keeps track of you so the police can never um, lose you. But obviously, taking out the helicopter or driving somewhere safe would um, prevent you from getting the light shown on you. And also, now citizens react to what you do. So if they see you do something illegal like uh, beating someone up in public or stealing something, killing someone, uh, they can call the cops. And also it's been rumored that they can actually take a video of it and also maybe do things themselves like vigilante stuff. Like take you down after uh, you rob someone and they could try and like uh, keep you down until the cops come, stuff like that. And also the police have some new strategies in order to capture you they have a uh, Roblox uh, helicopter spotlights all this stuff isn't new but this is all the stuff they're going to be using uh, pit maneuvers spike strips pepper spray and it's also been rumored to say that uh, police dogs are in the game which is a possibility now that there are animals there are pets so there is a possibility that there are police dogs that'd be pretty cool to see police dogs coming after you but also they'd be pretty annoying and you'd have to shoot the dogs but that's it for the strategies they use
And now for the police vehicles, we have the normal police cruiser, we have the sheriff's cruiser, we also have some SUVs like the Park Rangers Granger, that's what the SUVs are called, the Granger, uh, Sheriff's Granger, and we also have the FIB Granger, which are all SUVs. Next we have the Enforcer, which is the SWAT team's van returning. We also have the Tank, which looks pretty cool, it's called the Rhino. Uh, we also have, obviously, police helicopters. And also there is a police bike returning and they also are now able to go on water with jet skis. So that's going to make escaping even harder going out to the ocean. They're going to come after you still. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the police in GTA 5. If you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. If you have any suggestions for the next video, really appreciate it if you guys left some in the comment section below. And once again, if you did enjoy it or found it helpful or just enjoyable, I'd really appreciate it if you leave a like and subscribe to my channel because i got a bunch of GTA content on my channel. And you guys should definitely subscribe for all that. So I am out. Peace.